30 from now. Stand by, no swearing. Hello and welcome to O2 Inside Live uh, Line Live. Coming to you from the O2 Blue Room. Make some noise, England fans. And I'm coming to you from the O2 Blue Room after a 32-15 win for England. Get in. I'm Mark Wright, thank you so much for having me. And today with me all day, I've had the pleasure to spend it with two England stars, Vicky Fleetwood and Brad Shield. Guys, you're all doing good still? Yeah, all good. You're still okay? Yeah, great. Still hanging on in there. Uh, we will be hearing very soon from Rafi Quirk, uh, Jamie Belmire and Freddie Stewart on this screen right now from the dressing room. But what a game, 32-15. Brad, let's start with you. By the way, if you want to do the lottery tonight, Ask this guy, because before the game, I asked him the score, what it was going to be, and he predicted 32-15. No lie. Yeah. Ne nearly, nearly. No. nearly. Yeah. Brad, it'll do. Brad, what do you think about the result? Is it what you expect? Well, it obviously was. Why did it happen how you expected? Oh, it's class, mate. Any, any England wins class. Um, someone trying to clap at the back there. I'm not sure if that's for me or... That's no, good. Uh, obviously, a win is, is great. I thought England took their opportunities really well. I didn't think Australia posed much of a threat, but again, like we spoke afterwards, England defence was great, uh, turnovers at the right time, physical. So that no, was a it was a decent win. And Vicky, from you, I personally thought that they were going to get the ball out a bit wider, um, a little bit more. Um, I think at times they weren't as clinical as I think they'd have hoped to have been. So to come away with that win, I think they'll be really pleased. Okay, well, let's hear from some of the stars themselves on this screen. Right now, uh, Jamie Blamaya, Rafi Quirk, and first up, Freddie Stewart here in the O2 Blue. Congratulations. Uh, give us your assessment of that game today. Yeah, no, it was a, a fantastic game. You know, we came away with a win, which, which we obviously wanted to do. A uh, bit scrappy at times, you know, it probably didn't open up as we would have liked. Um, but, you know, we dug in, boys dug in for each other and we got over the line. Um, for you, scoring a try at Twickenham, I mean, this is what, your third, fourth test, isn't it, for, for England? Just can you give us a sense of the emotion of the score, try your family here against Australia? Give us, that must be outrageous. Yeah, no, I think um, that, that experience even without scoring has been incredible and then you know Marcus put me through that hole and I saw the try and I just thought just get there and then diving over just e easily the best moment of my life so far mate just, honestly just diving over a moment of elation let it all out it was fantastic under the high ball Freddie you know people I mean you're six foot five full back I mean it's what people in England want to see but I mean you, you had a fantastic game out there today your confidence it must be growing game on game in the England shirt as well yeah look it's a, it's a brilliant group of lads and we all get behind each other um, and that's the key I think when the to get behind each other it brings the best out of everyone so um, just love being out there the high ball I just I love it so uh, you know when they kept putting them up I just wanted to get up there and get up there so um, yeah loved it and give us a word about Rafi Quirk uh, the little man uh, he's, he, he's honestly he's had a smile on his face uh, since the team was announced and he's, he's not been wiped um, he's a fantastic lad and we're so happy for him um, and he's got his cap and uh, hopefully first of many yeah. Rafi uh, first first run out for England today at Twickenham 82,000 when you came on what, what's going through your mind um, cross the white line and tried to just block out the fans and the crowd but seeing Jamie go over at the end it was like the, the whole place was just bouncing and ringing it was amazing um, yeah just the best day of my life yeah. I mean it's been a bit of a whirlwind for you isn't it you know we kind of saw you a few weeks ago you came in people won't know of course that you're a brilliant hairdresser you also <laughs> look at this lid can we have a quick can we have a quick look at that so Fresh. Yeah, so Rafi cut my hair yesterday, yesterday was it? Yeah. Yesterday. I've got to keep um, the boys looking fresh for the games, you know. Yeah. You never know who's watching. Doing a good job. Um, about this New England as well, I mean, um, Eddie's talking about this New England, and obviously looking at the three of you here, you guys have, have come on the scene this year. I mean, how do you feel being part of that? I mean, it must be tr feel truly exceptional, doesn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Obviously, Eddie put that, showed us that plan of New England, um, and we're all just digging in and sticking to that plan, and it's going well so far. I mean, two wins from two, like, what more do you want? 
Yeah, and, and a word about Jamie Blamire, the try scoring machine. I mean, this guy just can't stop scoring tries. I just, he was just saying to me then, I was thinking at the end of the game, when am I going to score another try? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> That's what he just said to me then, but I know I sort of. Even when it was 80 minutes on the clock, I was just waiting, looking at Jamie, seeing when he's going to score. When he's gonna, <laughs> the ball's going to come his way somehow, and he's going to get over the line, so yeah. he's just a try scoring machine. Uh, yeah, well, I think on that note, we have to give us the stats here. The test caps versus tries scored, what is it? Uh, six tries, four caps. Of course he knows. <laughs> six tries in four games for a hooker. Uh, how many tries have you got? Uh, just the one, just bloke. the one, just uh, one in four. Just the none. <laughs> just the six. <laughs> um, I mean, for you, Jamie. I mean, obviously coming through the summer here. I mean, t tell us how it's been over the last few months being part of this New England. Like, amazing. It's just such a like such a privilege to be able to be a part of it, and you just want to take full advantage of it. It's just like buying into what Eddie said and like just giving your all to it. A, a word uh, against Australia there as well. I mean, obviously, it was a, a game wise, it was a real dogged fight today, wasn't it? I mean, Eddie mentioned in the week he could see it going to the last 20 or the last 10 minutes as well. Tell us about the resilience of this team and the character that you really believe that you can really push on in that last 10 or 20. Yeah, like half time it was tight, and you just the last 20 minutes we started to like just build into it, build into it, and then we got our set piece right at the scrum time, and it just, just helped us finish the game off. Yeah. Uh, and a word on Australia as well, because obviously they were absolutely dogged out there, weren't they, as well? They were really sticking in, and I mean, you know, with, with 10 15 to go, the game could have turned either way. Yeah, they're, they're a really good side, and it was, uh, yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fair enough answer. You know, like, and, and I just want to know as well, you know, pl playing hooker, playing the front row, Sam Simmons pops that ball to you, you've probably got 30, 40 metres to go. What, you know, did you not get treacle legs? You still had the ability to keep going. I wondered if you were just going to run out of steam, or did you believe you were going to get across the line? I just wasn't turning around because I knew if I did, I'd probably get caught. So, and then once I got there, it was just I couldn't even get up to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, look, collectively, look, the, the new faces of New England. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic win against Australia. Have a great night, lads. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Yes, let's hear it for the boys. Uh, great to hear from the boys there, right? Um, Brett, I want to ask you, what will Eddie be thinking and feeling about that performance? I think um, he'd, be, he'd be satisfied, but I think he'll, he'll be straight on to next week. Like, knowing Eddie, he's, all he wants to do is get better and get better every week. So, um, he'll be happy with a win, but he'll obviously be ready for next week. Because Serifka poses a massive threat. Um, not just physically, but the way they're playing at the moment is expansive games. So um, he would have already been thinking about next week before the game even started today. Vicky, you wasn't 110% convinced with the performance other than a great win. Uh, but were there any standout players for you? Um, <laughs> I thought Freddie Stewart was really good under the high ball. I think he's brought his um, strengths from club into the England shirt um, and you know, very deserved of the man of the match performance. Um, and yeah, I think just a lot of them did their job, um, but I think they're going to have to step up for next week. OK, I'm going to ask you fans this question, you watching at home and all of you in front of me. Um, two matches down in the Autumn Nations. Are we happy where we're at? Yes? I mean, are we happy where we're at? Good, that's what I want to know. Vicky and Brad, a final word looking ahead to next week. It's the World Champs, South Africa. Brad, what have the boys got to do to get the win? Well, it's a big rematch, isn't it, from uh, the World Cup. So, uh, look, uh, I think just turn up physically. I think they, they need to make sure they, um, they, they do their preparation right. They, they make sure they enjoy the good win because it's important to enjoy wins. But I think physically it's going to be a step up. Vicky, um, how excited are you for that game? Or nervous, should I say? A bit of both. Um, yeah, as Brad says, they're, they're definitely going to have to step up with the physicality, you know, in South Africa. Um, and it'll be another exciting one. Hopefully they can go through the from through. OK, Brad, Vicky, thank you so much for spending this day with me. Please, a round of applause for these two England stars. I'm Mark Wright. Thank you so much for having me here in the O2 Blue Room. Uh, I've had a great day. Up the England. Bring on next week. We're going to do it. And I love you all. Get home safe. See you soon. Thank you.